Tel Aviv, the white city on the Mediterranean. The conflict in Gaza happened very recently, but life here has more or less returned to normal. As Tel Aviv prepares to celebrate its centenary, attention is turning towards the more than 4,000 buildings constructed in the Bauhaus style. It's a unique ensemble and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Bauhaus Center is a private initiative dedicated to raising awareness of this architecture. Schlomit Gross is a tour guide in the city. She offers one of the few tours focusing on Tel Aviv's Bauhaus buildings. Here she is showing a tourist around the city center. Bauhaus was not just about architecture. It was a movement which began in Germany and which aimed to change the society there. The idea was to found a socialist society. If you want to change something, you do the opposite of what you did before. So, whereas before all the buildings were symmetrical, now they are asymmetrical. Right angles and squares, straight lines without ornament. Tel Aviv's architecture became the prototype of a new style that broke with tradition. A new style for a new country. In the 1930s, hundreds of thousands of Jews were forced to leave Nazi Germany. They needed places to live. Many of the architects had studied at the Bauhaus, where modernity, economy and functionality were the order of the day. But in Tel Aviv, those principles were sometimes obscured. The part above the balcony is intended to protect you from the sun, but this design is far from ideal. Warm air rises, so it collects in the space above. And if you sit on the balcony in summer, it's very, very hot. So the buildings were not always 100% functional. The variety of these buildings still amazes visitors today. Added to that, they still look extremely modern. But what was once bold and radical is now often rather dilapidated. The salty sea air has eaten away at the exteriors. Many balconies have long since been converted into extra rooms. Tel Aviv doesn't have the money to look after its architectural heritage. For the owners, there is only one option. Add another story on top. The income from the sale of a penthouse flat can be used to renovate the rest of the building. On one of the city's most important squares stands this villa. It has been renovated by the owner, an artist's agent. Upstairs is the living area. Since last April, the lower floor has housed a little Bauhaus museum. Curator Esti Cohen is putting together a collection of Bauhaus design. There is a lot of interest because the style is not widely known in Israel. There is hardly any remaining original furniture in the country. In return for selling them the property, the city authorities required the new owners to install the museum. Without the wealthy person who paid for the renovation, the villa could not have been saved. To renovate buildings in Tel Aviv, um, it's quite costly. It, uh, it, it, you have to have a lot of money to do it properly. And um, uh, there is now um, a bigger and a growing understanding and interest to renovate the buildings and not tear them down. The restoration and reconstruction of the Bauhaus Museum building has been taken on by the Haider Partnership, a practice with many younger architects. This villa is some way outside Tel Aviv. The owners have given the architects a completely free hand. It's not really a matter of uh, uh, this kind of window or this. It's not, not so much the detail as the spirit of the things. This white geometric cube, uh, freestanding, and actually the spirit of freedom, that's, that's what's uh, 
That's maybe the spirit of the Baos. It's not just tourists, but increasingly also Israelis themselves, who are recognizing the importance and beauty of Tel Aviv's Bauhaus buildings.